Hey everyone, it's Stuart here. And in today's video, we are gonna show you the simple steps you can follow to create your very first Facebook or Instagram story in the Meta Business Suite. Now, just before we get going with today's tutorial video, consider subscribing if you are new to the channel and don't forget to tap that bell icon to receive all the Facebook and Instagram tutorials and tips from this channel. And with that out the way, let's get into it. Okay, so now that you've got the best image aspect ratio recommendation, we can head over to creating the first story for you for Facebook and Instagram. Simply head over to the top section of the Meta Business Suite until you see the More button. Click on it until you see Create Story come up. Then click on that, and that is then going to open up a little pop-up for you to get started with creating your story. You can select whether you want it on Facebook, Instagram, or both. In this example, let's select both of them and then head over to the next section, which is adding media to your story. Click on add media and find the image in the right aspect ratio that you want to upload. Let's select the example right at the top. As the image begins to upload, you will then see a few new sections appear down at the bottom for the creative tools. As you can see here, we have got our image aspect ratio and we can see a preview of what it looks like at the moment on Facebook and Instagram. Let's say we want to crop that image a little bit more. Let's head into the crop section right here and you can then select the crop that you want for your particular image. You can go for the original one, you can go for the square one, or the full screen vertical. Obviously, this is the recommended one, so we are going to go with full screen vertical 9 to 16 aspect ratio. We then want to head over to the apply section right down at the bottom there to make sure that this change happens. And once this change has happened, you can then see the new preview of what it will look like. Here it looks quite nice, so let's move on to the next section, which is adding text to the story. And in this example, let's add a nice simple caption. We first want to go over to the add text section, and we then want to click on it. This is then going to open up a little square and we can move this to wherever we want to have the text on the story. So let's move it to the middle and then click twice until we see this appear and then start typing. And there we go. Let's zoom out and show you what you can do by changing the text color. Let's say we want to make the text blue. Let's say we want to make it yellow. Let's say we want to make it white. There we go, that looks quite nice. If you want to make it a little bit bigger, we simply select this little blue button there and we hold the mouse down and pull it up or down depending on what size we want the font to be. If you think this current font is not quite reflective of your brand, you can always go to the font section and select a new font type. Let's say we want to go with Courier. There we go, and that looks quite nice. Then select Apply, and once they are done, you can then see the preview of what this is going to look like. As you can see here, it's a bit hard to read this text at the moment. So let's go back and change the font color. Here we go, in green. Let's select apply and we will successfully have a font that we can read and an image that is the 9 to 16 vertical ratio, which is quite cool to have. There you go, the road ahead is exciting. The, another thing is having stickers. So this allows you to choose a couple of different stickers that you can place on to your story. 
let's select the smiley face emoji and once again you can see that there's the blue button to pull it up and down the size and you can also just hold your mouse down and move it around to where you want it on the story. Then you can select apply and again it's just going to update the image once again. This may seem like a bit of a process but it's really important to make sure that your story is 100% good and you are happy with it before hitting that publish button. Now the final thing is that you can add a swipe up link into your story and all you need to do is enter the website link in the story and just wait until the loading preview section is done and what you will see afterwards is the see more button down at the bottom will now appear and you can visit the link to make sure that it is actually working properly and the way you intended it to. It's looking fine here so that's great. Let's head back to the story setup. Now we can see a final preview in Facebook and Instagram of what our story will look like. So once that is done we can either select share story or you can schedule it for a later date. In this example we want to get this story up straight away so let's select share story and congratulations the story has now been published it may take a few minutes for the story to appear in your planner section here in the meta business suite it's also important to remember that stories are only going to be visible for 24 hours thank you so much for watching i hope you got a lot of value out of it once again if you like this video don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing if you are new to the channel and want ongoing Facebook and Instagram marketing tutorials and tips. We post new videos every single week. And if you have any questions about the content that was covered in today's video, you can always leave a comment down below and I'll aim to answer your questions as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial video. Bye for now.